Hello dear friends, in this video you see a facility for processing waste, rubber, clothing and any solid household waste into electricity as well as into hydrogen gas. Here, waste, scraps, plastic, anything that is at hand is loaded. The partial installation seems to resemble pyrolysis, but it is not exactly pyrolysis. Here is the difference, not structuralitic, not hydrogen. Here is the furnace at the bottom. The gas goes into this unit. Here it is converted into hydrogen gas, cooled, filtered, and then pumped into storage tanks for gas using a compressor. In the process of producing all of this, we also obtain torque, which turns the generator. I will show all of this in action, but since there will be noise and commotion, I decided to film in advance and explain everything in more detail. Here is the filter, here is the cooler, and this is the cooling tank. Coolants also generate a significant amount of heat in the process, which can be used to heat a greenhouse or a room. There are no emissions into the atmosphere, however, initially while melting, we use wood or liquid fuel to reach the required temperature. Then this system powers itself with gas. It also supplies this internal combustion engine with gas, and the excess gas, amounting to 80%, goes into the storage. 50% goes into the storage. When burning 100 kilograms of car tires, we obtain 20 liters of oil, 120 cubic meters of hydrogen gas free of sulfur and toxic impurities, 30 kilograms of coal that can be used for briquettes or filtering elements, and 10 kilograms of steel, providing torque for a 10 kilowatt generator. Most importantly, this process emits no harmful substances into the atmosphere.